We're Brad and Jazz, and over the last four years, we've been creating our own income by selling items we find at thrift stores, auctions, garage sales, and everything in between. And honestly, we love it. But at the moment, we're kind of stuck between two goals, reselling and our dream of full-time travel in a van. But right now, we're in this kind of weird limbo, where on one hand, we need to start downsizing, and on the other hand, we still need to be bringing in enough stock to pay for our regular bills and to pay for a van build. And it's expensive. So this week we're headed out to do another local bulk deal. We've been really lucky this last year with people reaching out to us with this type of opportunity. Some of them we've had to turn down, but others like today are the key to keeping our business running. Sorry we're a little bit late. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, we went around the block a couple of times. This is the good stuff. <laughs> I can't steal his golf ball. Ah. <laughs> Tiger. I'm Most a, of them are numbered, so. Yeah. I'm a crow's man myself, but. Jada would frost like that because it's uh, a Seacom. Yeah, it's older, yeah. And I think the Scots one, it's from the premiership year they won. Oh, right. And I can't remember what year. I bought that at an auction. I think when they won the flag, O2. Look, it was, a, it was a bad year for me, so. <laughs> <laughs> but all the players signed it. Yeah. It just hasn't got a certificate with it. Yeah. I bought it at a footy auction one night. Yeah. The certificates usually help them, but mm. if I throw it up on Marketplace, I don't really want to ship this stuff. That's, yeah, that's going to be part of the problem. My idea, I don't want to ship it. Yeah. Because like, I looked at shipping everything back up to, I live in Morro Bay. Yeah, right. It's like two and a half grand. Yeah, I know. So, 90% went in the bin. What was that? Olympics and all the dudes down the bottom are the people that signed it. This yeah. one's Leighton. Everyone know who signs up. <laughs> Good old Leighton. He's a local, so one of the locals will buy that, that up. Yeah, that's oh, good. Yeah, beauty. This one's interesting because it's it's like it's a repro, but it's still old, right? Yeah, oh, it's heard. a reproduction of a jumper. Yeah. But oh, I've had that for years. I've probably had that 25 years, I'd say. Yeah, well, they, I think they made them, well, just before the Sydney 2000 mm. Olympics as like a way to raise money for it. So mm. it's pretty cool. The hard, the hard stuff with that is like trying to find comps on it because yeah, like, there's yeah, none I around. I yeah. got online, I couldn't find one either. Nah. There's none online. Yeah. But I think you're pretty close to where we'd probably be comfortable on it. Yeah, because um, you're going to make money in. Yeah, we'll probably try and do it local. Yeah. Sure, someone will grab it at some point. Cool. So you're sort of about six on the yeah, that's cool. this yeah, stuff. Right, what so. about the? You can tell us. <laughs> Whatever. It's probably like the things that I'm, I'm gonna make money on is probably the these two. Yeah. The other bits and pieces probably 20, 30 bucks here and there I reckon. Yeah. Um, there might be a surprise in there or two, but oh, these jeans will do alright as well. I think I'll paint each one. I just never. Yeah. Um, Would you be happy at like 700 for a lot? Yeah, done. Yeah, done. Happy uh, transfer? All right, guys. So we paid $700 for this lot. There was five pieces of memorabilia and a couple boxes of miscellaneous. There was a really nice pair of jeans in there. They're like the Neo, uh, the Kevlar line. So they should do quite well. Brand new with tags. There's a couple pieces of electronics. But I, what I really want to show you is the memorabilia. So let's head out the back there and show you what we actually got. All right guys, absolutely stoked with this deal we got done yesterday. So we actually drove way down south, picked up some stuff from our normal local guy, and then someone hit us up on Instagram who was cleaning out a little bit of their storage unit. And this is what came from them. So I thought we'd show this stuff off today because this is not sort of stuff you find regularly. First, we paid sort of $600 for these five pieces, which I'll show you individually. There was some other stuff in there that we threw in for 700. So about 600 for this lot. Now, this one here is a signed Port Adelaide uh, jersey before 1999 because it has the old um, AFL logo on the Seacom tag so I'm going to do a little bit of research about some of those players try and work out who signed this and kind of work out 
what era this particular jersey came from because that'll probably help me work out what sort of price we're going to ask for on it. All this stuff's probably going to end up on Facebook Marketplace because I don't really want to ship it. But I'm assuming something like this being seek and tag, sign Port Adelaide, I should get a couple hundred bucks out of this one, I reckon. This one here is probably my favorite piece of the lot. This one is a replica of a 1956 Olympics jersey. So this was actually um, recreated to match up with uh, an AFL match that was a demonstration in 1956 Olympics. So this was actually put back together in about 1999. So it's still vintage and it's got a little bit of a crossover. This was limited to 2000. So we're gonna get collectors for AFL and Olympics on this one. I have no idea on value. It's gonna be very tough. I couldn't find any comps anywhere. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on it. See if anything has gone on auction. But I'm assuming we're going to get at least a couple hundred bucks on this, but I think this one's probably going to be worth a little bit more than the AFL one. So I'm probably going to shoot a bit higher than that, maybe 400 and just see what we get on that one. This piece here is pretty cool. 2008 Beijing Olympics. Uh, it's been signed by a bunch of people. Uh, there is information down the bottom. I saw that um, there was a couple of cricketers in there that had signed it. Uh, this one here, again, very hard to find comps on, but I'm probably going to shoot for a couple hundred, maybe 300 locally on that one. Luckily, it comes with that certificate, which helps it. Um, pretty interesting piece. Don't see these around every day. This one here, Leighton Hewitt match worn tennis top. Uh, it's also signed by Leighton Hewitt, which really helps it. Again, very tough to comp. I found some tennis balls online that have been signed that sold for like 100 bucks. So that's a pretty good sign considering this is a match worn actual uh, top. So I think we've already made our money back in the other three and then now we're starting to really get into the profit. And last up, we've got a Tiger Slam, a Tiger Woods. I think this one here is probably the least valuable of the lot, but I still think we're gonna get some decent money out of this one. We probably could ship this one in on eBay because it is a better size. But again, I'm probably gonna do all this stuff local just so I can get in and out. Don't have to worry about shipping and potentially any glass break. So. $600 paid for everything here, and I think we should easily make around $1,000, um, which is a good return locally. Obviously, if we were to pay eBay fees and stuff like that, it probably wouldn't be worth it, but just some really cool stuff here. So I was very happy to do the deal. Thank you very much for reaching out to us on Instagram. You know who you are. And thanks for joining us today, and we will see you next time on Twasy Thrifters. And on the other hand, we still need to be bringing in enough stock to pay for our regular bills and to build out this van. And it's expensive. Another one. <laughs>